Hello, one and all, I am your host, Frosty Coffee, bringing you the latest and greatest on the highly anticipated upcoming game called Blue Protocol. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to enter into closed beta test number two, so let's jump in to those details. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We have a video to do, right? Okay, so we are jumping into Blue Protocol. Today's about a guide on how to get you all started. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I require you to do is get a VPN of your choosing. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to have a VPN running in order for all of this to work, or at least for you to have the most security in order for this to get going and to get started without having any issues in the future. <clears throat> so once you have your VPN downloaded of your choosing, I will show you what I recommend in a few minutes. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure you have that VPN running and get started. So let's jump into Blue Protocol's official webpage, which is blue-protocol.com. So this is the Japanese official website. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be required to also have a Bandai Namco Japanese ID, which is when you first create it, you will be required to set to Japan and Asia when you create the account. Make sure you have a VPN running in order for all of this to work properly and so that no one detects what kind of account you have when you first make it. You want to have your VPN running at all times throughout any process that you're doing for any Japanese game. So once you have that account made, you can register for an account and log in to your account on the Blue Protocol official webpage. Because there's a currently a closed beta test number two being done, I am not going to log into my account. I already know that I have because I've logged in once, but I was using my VPN. So when you get to the official webpage, there's going to probably be a big green teal and black text button for you to download the game client if this is officially when the game is officially launched but because it's a closed beta test or open beta test or whatever test we are going to go on to go to the announcements tab we're going to click on all which is the the left hand button tab on to the far left closest to the blue protocol official logo three announcements down depending on wherever it is you're going to want to click download the game client. If you've translated the web page or if you know how to read Japanese, it's going to say download the game client. The first thing that you ever see is download here. Once you have that downloaded, run the exe for me. So let's go back here. So when you first open up the installation, it's going to show this, the matching load test. So you're, you're, you're going to want to click the no button. <laughs> For, for us, it looks weird. It looks like it's the no button. So just click the one that has the arrow that's pointing up that that way, sorry, <laughs> um, which is uh, the greater than less than sign pointing to your right, um, which is reversed for me on, on my screen, which is this way, but yeah, you get it. <laughs> so you want to click accept, which is the A, it will show up. Uh, A is accept, and then you want to click forward. Choose the hard drive, which is most likely your M2 your, or your SSD, which is the fastest hard drive that you have on your computer. You want to have the fastest load times for your computer. So click next. And then you're going to want to accept. I'm not going to do any of that because I don't need to. I've already installed the game. So I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. <laughs> I've already installed the game, guys. Um, so when you're ready to go, it's installed. It is going to show two icons right here for uh, what you want. Um, so I believe if I set it up correctly, uh, which one is the DirectX 11? That's DirectX 11. This one is just regular. Okay, so DirectX 12 is the one on the right here that I have. Um, and the one on the left is DirectX 11. So we wanted to start with DirectX 12, which is the most recent DirectX, right? So we're gonna start that. I'm a little zoomed in here, but guys, um, once you get here, as you can see, I am running my VPN currently and I'm set to Tokyo, Japan. So whenever you're running any of the websites, make sure that you're running your VPN. Otherwise you risk potentially getting banned 
or jumping to a uh, color code, which uh, Bandai Namco uses in order to identify if you're eligible or not to be in a closed beta test or to participate in playing the game. Now, this is an old color code and either I'll have it up on screen or uh, uh, right now, I'm just gonna say that red, you're accepted, you're allowed to play. Um, orange is meaning you've applied to the to a, a test, a version of the tests. Um, now, uh, what, what is it, blue? Blue is either you've not applied or you're not accepted. White is also a new color tag, um, which is either meaning you're banned or basically you're not accepted into the closed beta test. Um, <clears throat> so that is what the current color codes are or the updated version of them are currently. That is what people have been reporting as of this morning because the emails just went out as of midnight Eastern, I believe. Yeah, midnight Eastern. Um, so I have my VPN running. The ones that I recommend is either ExpressVPN. I don't recommend Nord because it's a very widely known and very easily used VPN. Um, although it's somewhat good, it's, it's, it's a VPN that's widely known and developers easily know or can identify what Nord is uh, through their VPN processes. Uh, Mudfish isn't very well known. I used that for the first closed beta test and it worked very well for me. Um, so Mudfish, I do recommend as well. Now, of course, you have to pay for each and every one of these VPNs if you wanted to use them. Um, so there are other people that recommend exit lag. Now, whether that's for promotional uses or not, I don't know, but apparently it works very well for some people. Personally, I am honest about this and I... Uh, and this isn't promotional at all. ExpressVPN, in my opinion, is actually a fairly decent VPN that I like to use. It hasn't let me down once, so I like to use ExpressVPN as of right now or currently as of this video. Um, so guys, um, if you want, you can uh, pay for ExpressVPN. It is very, very well known um, for across consoles, PC, and amongst uh, your other devices. Um, so let's jump in on how to get started. So I'm gonna start up the launcher here, um, but uh, or I'll just show a different screen. But basically the uh, the launcher will look like this. So on the, on the right hand side, I have the DirectX 12 version. On the left hand side, there's DirectX 11. I suggest using DirectX 12 if you want the best looking game or the best performance of your Blue Protocol game. You're gonna wanna say yes to starting up the launcher. It's gonna load up real quick and it's gonna look like this or it may have changed in the future. But you're gonna to wanna to click the big orange icon, uh, the big orange button, I should say, uh, and it will start up into the game. So I'm gonna click that and it is going to download the game files. It will start downloading the game. If you're running your VPN, which I highly recommend, then it is going to download the game maybe a little bit slower than you what you would expect. But if you're not running a VPN, it will probably go fairly quickly for downloading the game files. Um, so it's not too bad at all. Um, I will probably throw down the specs in the uh, in the description down below as to what the game is in total as of the closed beta test number two, uh, or I'll just throw it up on screen maybe, we'll see. Uh, but basically I'll probably throw up another video too of me logging into the game. Basically what you wanna do when you first start up the game and you're loading into Blue Protocols, closed beta test, or the official game. It is going to go through its loading screen and then show some uh, some squares loading in the middle of your screen. As soon as that disappears, it's going to show you the login screen for Bandai Namco ID. That is where your Bandai Namco ID comes into play. You're gonna wanna use your credentials that you used for a Japanese Asia account. And you're gonna wanna use those credentials in order to log in to the game. Of course, you're using a VPN throughout this entire time, so no one knows where you're actually located. You're anonymous, and of course, you're logging into the game as if you were in Japan. So for those that are residents of Japan or potentially those that were lucky enough to get into the closed beta test, like I said before, or for those that have just been able to access the game in general, congratulations, you are there. Now you can jump into the game, have some fun, and enjoy your game experience 
for Blue Protocol. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the video footage I have for today. But of course, I am going to be a participant in the closed beta test number two. It's time for round two, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to have some fun jumping in to the stress test for three hours. So be sure to stick around. It's either going to be on my YouTube page or on my Twitch. So be sure to stick around my on my Twitter where I will announce where I'm going to be live streaming, but I probably will be on Twitch or maybe even both. I might even try, but I'm going to do a, uh, a preliminary, a pre live stream of doing some testing of settings and stuff like that for getting started into Blue Protocol and basically uh, a pre live stream that would basically just be like testing my settings and stuff like that, making sure that I'm ready for the closed beta test while running my VPN because I want to make sure that nothing happens like I did in my first closed beta test where my stream just crashed. I had so many viewers and I lost a lot of them because my stream crashed and it was very unfortunate. But guys, I am going to try and be prepared for this next round and be prepared for each and every one of you when we jump in to the closed beta test and beyond. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon on the way out so that you will be notified when my next video goes live. And of course, like the video and comment your thoughts in the comment section down below and share your experience and your thoughts on protocol. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was informative and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future for my blue protocol videos. And of course, stay frosty everyone.